Green County tonight, where an inmate on the loose back in police custody this evening. Yeah, Eric Washington's been on the run for nearly a week. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed is live at the Green County Sheriff's Office in Utah. And Tim, a phone call led law enforcement to Washington. Good evening. Around 1 o'clock this afternoon, police got a tip that Eric Washington was hiding out in Bology. That's about 10 miles from Utah. Now, the escaped prisoner was spotted by a rail employee who called police. Officials tell us that Washington had a handgun when officers arrested him, but he was arrested without incident. He had been on the run since last Tuesday night when he escaped from the Greene County Jail. We're told that Washington was taken late this afternoon to Montgomery to another holding facility. This afternoon, the Greene County Sheriff took Washington into custody with assistance from the U.S. Marshals and State Police. We received an anonymous tip that Mr. Washington had been spotted in the Bology area today. Once we got that tip, we acted up on it and got Alabama Department of Corrections tracking dogs from the Bibb County facility. They came down and were able to track Mr. Washington to that rear car. At the same time, we had an air unit uh, who was provided to us by Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. They were able to actually spot Mr. Washington, who was hiding inside a stationary rear car. Last Tuesday night around 9 p.m., Washington overpowered a corrections officer, then grabbed the keys and escaped. He was in jail serving a 30-year prison sentence for the attempted murder of a Greene County deputy. For the past six days, officers used canine tracking dogs, a state police helicopter, and dozens of local and federal agencies to track Washington down. Now, the Greene County DEA tells me he expects Washington to face more charges for escaping. For now, we're live in Greene County. Tim Reed, CBS 42 News.